Good morning, CPI. I have something to share with you. And it is a uh, shout out to Garland Nixon. That dude rocks, okay? Um, if you haven't listened to Garland Nixon on his radio show or on his show on Sputnik, check him out, man. Sanity. Okay, um, and Garland Nixon is how I found Caleb, and thus how I found CPI. Uh, Garland Nixon, the reason why he saved my sanity is he was the first person to show me that you can be other, that you could be not a Democrat, not a Republican. You can be an other. So, uh, let's see. July, it would have been July, sorry, I'm trying to do math here, 5th. Garland did his uh, News View show. Um, it's a radio show, but it's, I think it's on KPFK. I irrelevant for me because I don't live in D.C. I, I don't know how to listen to this on my local radio, but it's available on Podcast Player. It's called News Views with Garland Nixon. I was so impressed by his monologue on this show that I actually paid for a transcription service to get his words typed out. And the initial goal was to write this up as like an article asking him, of course, for permission. Um, didn't get to that. So um, I'm just going to read some of the things he said because I have a feeling that some people watching might not be in CPI and they might be questioning um, how to navigate this this um, culture where if you're not a Democrat you get issues with being labeled a Republican if you you know it's any let me just let Garland speak okay so this is Garland Nixon and, and remember, he's doing this in a conversational style. I'm going to skip a couple sentences just for clear, you know, for time's sake. I don't want to go on forever here. Okay, so he says, I got plenty to talk about today. Um, he says, I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. And I can, I'm not going to say that I'm any smarter than anybody else, any wiser than anybody else. But, you know, ultimately, there's an old saying where you stand on something, it often depends on where you sit, right? If a bunch of people are sitting in a room, everyone has a different perspective based on where they sit, based on the angle they're looking at, how they hear things, the lighting from their different perspective, right? So I felt that as a person who considers myself a political analyst, the best way to try to figure things out is to take the position, forgive me if you've heard this before, is to try to look at things as, it, as though I were an alien dropped on this planet. So as an alien, he's saying, I'm not black, I'm not white, I'm not male, I'm not female. I'm just in a, an existence, shall we say. Um, and the reason that I want to try to do this is because I don't want to have anything that blinds or blurs my ability to figure out what's going on. So basically he's saying, my history affects my point of view, but I'm seeking truth. So he says, one of the things I try to remember is that all human beings have the ability to do really, really good things and really, really evil things, terrible things. And that if you as a human come to grips with this reality about yourself, you're less likely to do the evil things. Because if you don't grasp that you can do evil things, you think that everything you do is good. You think everything your country does is good. Everything your team, your group, your party, whatever the case may be, what everything my group does is good and the other groups are bad. And you get into this mentality of villains and heroes, villains and heroes. You know, I was in law enforcement for years. And one of the things that I taught in the academy I would say to kids in the academy, you know, I consider them kids, they're 21 years old. I would say, look, it starts like this. We're the good guys and everybody else out there is the bad guys. 
then it becomes the cops are the good guys and the civilians or the non-cops are the bad guys. Then it becomes my department's the good guys, the other departments are the bad guys. Then eventually it comes to my shift is the good guys and the other shifts are the bad guys. It eventually gets down to me and my partner are the good guys and the other people who are in our district are the bad guys. You see where he's going with this. The group gets smaller and smaller and smaller. As long as you think you're the good guys, you're always going to create bad guys and you're always going to go from the perspective of the good guys versus the bad guys. And I have yet to meet anyone in my life who lives under that scenario of the good guys versus the bad guys that says I'm one of the bad guys. So moving further in his monologue here, the other part that really struck me is, so he says, you know, as long as you're in a mode that says good versus bad, evil versus good, well, of course I'm on the side of good. You can't understand the world because you're always on the side of good and you'll always make excuses for your team or your group because you're on the side of good. He says, and I used to be a Democrat, never been a Republican. I'm to the left of the Democrats. You know, it's amazing because I'll say something about politics, right? I'll say something about my distaste for the Democrats. The same my distaste for the Republicans because I don't really see them as two parties. I see them as two enablers of a warmongering crooked system, but you know, as soon as you say something about one of the parties in America, people assume you're the other one. Ah, I can't stand the Democrats. Oh, so you're a Republican, so you love Trump. I can't stand the Republicans. Oh, so you're a Democrat, so you're a liber liberal, whatever, right? And I'm like, when you say I'm like, no, I'm not a either one. I'm not down with either of those. Then people look at you like, I don't know. I got a box here, man. You got to get in one of these boxes. And I don't know what to do if you're not in one of these boxes. I don't know. Are you far left? Are you far right? They want to put a label on you. You are something. Why? It's not for me. That's for you. They're not trying to put... They're trying to label you as whatever it is. They're trying to put a label on you, but they're not doing it for you. They're doing it so they can try to make sense of the world. So they put you in a box. They can then say, you're in that box, okay? Garland's awesome. Check out Garland Nixon. News Views, Friday, KPFK and any podcast player. Have a great day, CPI.